If one winner is selected at random from the table, what is the probability that the runner's number will be even given that the race took place after 2007? We've got the table, let's go. Okay, so this problem is fundamentally about probability, and when you think probability, you wanna think of this formula. It's a big fraction, and it's the number of ways to win at something divided by the number of ways to play that something in the first place. And what we mean by win and play depend on the situation described in the problem or whatever the context of the problem happens to be. So in our case, we gotta figure out what do we mean by win, what do we mean by play? You're gonna to have to read the language very carefully here to make sure you get this one right. It says, what's the probability that the runner's number will be even? Okay, so it sounds like a winner is somebody who's got an even number. Given that the race took place after 2007, that, that's a little harder language for most people, so we'll get there in a second. But let's start with this whole business about being even. We're calling a winner a runner who has an even number. Why? I don't know, I guess that's what we're doing. It's a weird math problem, who cares? But we're trying to find the probability that a runner's number will be even. So our winners are the even numbered people. So let's go look for those people. The runner's number here is 532. That would qualify as a winner. I'm gonna put a little dot there. This one's 400, that's even, that's a winner. Yeah, this one's 323, not a winner. This one's 75, not a winner. This one's 167, not a winner. 83 is also odd, so not a winner. 914 is even, there's a winner. Uh, let's see, 713 is odd, not a winner. 259 is odd, not a winner. 866 is even, there's a winner. 294, also even, there's a winner. 305, not a winner. Okay, so my winners are my even numbered people, but then there's something super important here. It says, what's the probability that the runner's number will be even given that the race took place after 2007? That given part, what does that mean? It says, given that the race took place after 2007, it means we're only looking at people who raced after 2007. So if I have somebody who raced before 2007, we're not even gonna consider them in this problem. They're not factored in. So here, for example, this 532 is even, so it seems like a winner, but that didn't happen after 2007. That happened in 1983. So it says, given that the race took place after 2007, that eliminates this person from our discussion altogether. Or same with this one, that's also before 2007, so that's not gonna be good. Now these ones we crossed off, but I don't want anything until after 2007, so I should get rid of everything on here that is not after 2007. So what this question really means then is I'm only gonna be looking at the bottom four rows of this table because those are the only ones that took place after 2007. So yeah, these even numbers up here were technically you know, winners in a certain sense, but not in this problem because we were only looking at the ones that took place after 2007. Well, how many of those were there that were winners? Well, two even numbers for that one. So the numerator of my fraction here should be two. And what about the denominator? How many ways were there to play? Well, if I'm only counting the people after 2007, there's only those four. So it's really two out of four, which, should, which means our probability should be two out of four. Now, in some problems, you may have to simplify that because that's a fraction you could simplify to one half. But in our case, I look over here and I see that option A is two out of four. So the probability of this happening is two out of four. Our answer is A, and if you got it, great thinking.